holy thing I, I think I can't even get them all <laughs> with the phone so I'm actually going to Asaurus for a diving up no and dancing festival Yee! additionally to my absolutely enormous fins I got a tripod as well as a fully packed backpack which made me I think the absolute nightmare of all um, airport personal because I'm also doing light painting and I invite you to join me on my trip where I'll be diving with people who can hold breath six minutes and do light painting with them so painting with light underwater I'll be swimming with whales and dancing yes yeah. Man, I'm tired. The first of Azores, I was free diving with like dolphins, like 40 of them. And one of them, he stopped and looked at me. And there even was a bonus. Say hello to my little friend. This is my Xiaomi Mishima 360 camera and I had it with me while diving with the dolphins. Good morning! Actually, the first time in like a couple of days I really feel a little bit awake. And today we will put these here to work and I'll do my first real Abnoa session. Now! Yeah, Azores has like really nice forts and street art. That's a nice thing. Here you see, like, there's a rope going down. First it was 10, now it's 50 meters. Good morning! So I'm actually at the Azores, which is a volcanic island and yesterday we were like swimming in a really hot bath and had some kind of integration here to the water at this festival and here there's another really nice pool and here at Caldera de Perro Botello if you listen closely we hear the earth beating It's so hot, they're actually making corn in here. It smells a bit eggly here, so I don't know, but I think I'll try it later. We are in this lovely botanical garden and it's a dance festival so under this tree we'll now dance and see the forest it's like perfect it's really beautiful
This is a massive crater and you see a blue lagoon on top, a green lagoon below and tights! Very exotic animals here at uh, Azores. Uh, it's like, it's called cow and there seem to be many. The, the cars can't pass, we have to wait. We arrived at our next dancing and swimming spot here on the edge of this part of the Azores in the hot tunnel water. Wow, it was like unbelievable that we were in this pool, in this hot bath pool next to the ocean, swimming, floating, doing stuff great. And that was just the start. Then we went down to the ocean and into the water where there's like a little bay. And so the waves come in and the waves bring cold water, but the water there is very warm because it's like hot springs and it's like the mix. And Gustavo, he's like the film guy and I, I took a big flashlight and then he was like following me while I was chasing fish and we even saw an octopus like with the red lights on the underwater. <laughs> Good morning! Today amazing waterfall! Woohoo! <laughs> Hiking up waterfalls and going on pipes? Why pipes? Uh, I think it's for water. Uh, energy, whatever. It's great! It's so beautiful here! Woo! Lovely Azores! After one hour in this natural hot tub, I feel like butcher. When I got out, ooh, like, it was good. I first sat down. So relaxing. And there's like fresh water back there. Isn't that a cool place to swim? Really nice. Oh, lovely. It's so romantic here in Portugal, like, look at this sunset, oh! Tess, I'm rapping to the beat! I think, like, as we are walking around with the boombox, the teenage youth here thought they gotta, like, do something to show who's boss. Okay, they're the boss. Good morning, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning and we are already up and running in one of our first spot where we do, I think, static. So hold your breath as long as you can. This is a natural hot spring of 31 degrees. Actually, it's a bit less now because they started uh, using like geothermics and since they build a plant it's a bit less now and it's beautiful we can't dive here we would have had our first dive with all together so we have to go to another location let's see so the ocean was too rough to free dive so we went to another place to a port and we dived in there it was only like five six meters so it was a bit more relaxed and uh, yeah I'm excited about tomorrow. It was a long day. Nice day. Today, lonely island. And in the middle, there's a pool.
There it's open. Here's the pool. There it's closed. But we'll actually be diving outside because it's not so big. Of the trip and actually not underwater yet, but dancing above, which was great fun. Good morning! Today, diving with dolphins, or might we see a whale? Oh, that would be so cool! Like, this is the last day of the Oceans of Low. Festival, so the dance and underwater festival will end today. But I will stay two more days so I can fulfill my dream of underwater. Thank you. Searching dolphins again! I got a problem. We're having an underwater live painting shoot tomorrow and today I was trying to find like bags and stuff to put my flash and so on and couldn't find any and so problem solved. <laughs> Good morning. We're on a location check for the live painting shoot here in this nice hotel. Underwater live painting tonight and for that I think it's good to look like an artist so people understand that you're doing art and so I so we checked out the pool, it's actually not deep, it's only 115, which makes it more difficult, challenge accepted, but at least there's really nice street out here all around. So after all kinds of back and forth, I'm actually here at the lovely spot and we'll do like a sunset shoot here. Woo! <laughs> but first, a little bit of refreshment, okay? Yeah. Right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we had an absolutely gorgeous after sunset shoot at Kalua and even ate some mussels afterwards here. Violetta was the model and now we're preparing for this. And to be honest, I'm really excited. It's the first time in my life I'll do underwater light painting and underwater light painting is not like the easiest thing to pull off. Four o'clock in the morning after hours in the water in this warm pool. <laughs> I don't know how the photos will really look like. I, I'm excited. So it's the first time underwater light painting and we came up with some funky ideas. So the tripod is actually held in place by this thing which we just yeah, used to hold it down. Because we didn't have enough weights. <laughs> I had a non-waterproof flash and uh, a non-waterproof flash that I wanted to take underwater. So we actually used a whole lot of condoms to make them waterproof. The flash didn't work. Died. 